Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about temporal bone fracture. In the imaging, bone algorithm on this with coronal junction, CTA MRE for suspected vascular injury. Relocated brain imaging critical to evaluate for intracranial injury present in up to 90%. Longitudinal fracture, vertical plan, parallel, long axis of address read, external auditory canal, middle, middle ear, post secular. Involvement common or the capsule involvement is rare. Transverse fracture perpendicular to address read long axis. Otic capsule involvement personal seven injury very common. It's not auditory canal and middle ear involvement area. Public fracture with feature typically horizontal and parallel to petrus with long axis. Optic capsule violating with visas. Otic capsules bearing classification better predict complications as a sensor hearing neural hearing loss, cranial nerve seven injury, and CSM leak. Ossicular injury dislocation, predominant fracture, in cusp most commonly involved. Cranial nerve seven injury most commonly at geniculate ganglion. Symptom often result spontaneously. All variety assess for tegment fracture, CSF leak, carotid canal injury, extension to central scalp base, intracranial and cervical spine injury. So here is the sample of the first case where in the health cell bone sitting in a 42 years old man status post trauma from a motor vehicle accident so on the capsule violating major transfer Picture through the posterior aspect of the petrol ridge extending to the basal turn of the cochlear black solid arrow indicate. The second case, answer bone city in a 25 years old woman status quo. Also, a capsule sparing longitudinal fracture in master complex. Why solid arrow indicate? And widening of the in Udo Malaya joints. Why open arrow indicated? Consistent with ossicular disruption. So this case is very sticky. Need to have experience to read such a structure. Especially need ENT specialized to have or to indicate any challenge. This axial bone CT in 
a one years old child status was born from a chair on to a tile to demonstrate a subtle longitudinal fracture along the anterior margin of the mastoid hair cell, right slit arrow indicated, with associated pneumotal pneumo labyrinth black coat and arrow indicate in the vestibule. In the vestibule. This is the axial CISS or in the same patient demonstrate loss of the normal hyper intense T2 signal in the right lateral semicircular canal. Isolate arrow indicate, which can indicate hemolabrin or ochromatic labyrinth type is ossican, ossipican. Notice normal T2 hypertensity in the left lateral semi circular canal by open arrow indicate. The axial bone CT cell bilateral, multi capsule capsule sparing fracture, black solid arrow in the kit, and left maleo in kudal dislocation, white open arrow in the kit. This is the axial bone CT reveal a longitudinal optic capsule violating fracture, black solid arrow indicate, extending from mastoid to petrous attack. Malleo in caudal disruption, black open arrow indicate. Is noted middle ear debris and hemo tapenum is present. Axial bone CT demonstrate linear lucency through the anterior wall of the external auditory canal, representing the normal tympanal squamous fissure, wise red arrow in kit. This was initial misdiagnosis as a fracture. A true fracture line is sent through the anterior aspect of the clinoid cosine, wide open arrow in the kit. Treatment, management of severe head injury is priority. Anticoagulation plus minus endovascular therapy for carotid injury. Antibiotic FCS leak is present. Management of cranial nerve seven injuries remain controversial. Most advocate observation plus minus steroid force. Paresis, surgical decompression, or cranial nerve survey repair may be performed in patients with endothelial paralysis. Thank you.